We're doing a story on actors when they fly and they see their movies on an, as an in-flight movie. How often has that happened to you and how do you react when it does? Uh, a couple of times. Once I saw Heartburn that I was in. I saw that on an airplane. I was in first class and it was mostly businessmen in first class. And I saw like three or four men cry in that movie. It seemed very sad. Near the end, just when their marriage was dissolving in the movie. and. Um, and then a f uh, one I've seen is Home Alone, which is kind of weird because I was on a plane. I was on a plane. I was on a plane. <laughs> I was on a plane. <laughs> um, well, that's actually a fun one to see because so much of it takes place on the plane. Yeah, do, how do, after Home Alone came out, or both films, how often do you get, do people make jokes to you about that? If you're on an airplane, do people say? Oh, yeah. Airline <laughs> attendants all the time. <laughs> and they, and they, they do it kind of in a bragging way too. You people don't realize you're like responsible for losing my kids, not me, it's you. <laughs> the airlines to blame. Um, yeah, my, and I've had kids come up to me. I had one child come up and say, uh, "You're the mother from home alone. How could you? How could a mother do that to her child? How could you lose him twice?" And and there's no justification for it other than money. I'm sorry, I paid a lot to do. That. I'm sorry, it's the only thing I've ever done purely for money. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm apologizing to him, and he said, "Isn't that called abandonment?" Yes, you're right, and I'm sorry. God bless you for knowing the difference. Now, I think a lot of people aren't used to seeing you do, uh, like, a straight dramatic role. Was this a real uh, welcome change of pace for you? Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it was really nice to work on a Larry Kasdan yeah. movie. He does beautiful movies. Yeah. Um, but as far as comedy or drama, it all feels it's pretty much the same work. Yeah. Even though, you know, when you do comedy, you still have to have a reality behind the character. Uh, but on top of that, you have to somehow get laughs, yeah. you know. But, uh, and also, Home Alone was not comedic part at all. The, mo the movie was a comedy, but my part was very serious. But, um, and I think, I think uh, you know, in drama you still have to have a sense of humor. I think that gives your, your role much more dimension, you know, if you add that to it somehow. So it didn't feel foreign to me, although the scenes were very serious and sometimes it was like, okay, let's have a joke here. <laughs> There's a lot of off-camera kind of expression releasing, you know. But, now, in light of uh, the Bad Girls film, were you, did you feel a little cheated that you weren't able to uh, uh, pull out a Remington and blast away yourself? I got to do it right after this movie. <laughs> I went and played Calamity Jane in another movie called Tall Tales. So I got the best of both worlds. Okay. <laughs> I got to be shut up, and then I got to be sh yeah. shooting. <laughs> okay. Now, the costume fittings in this movie, were they a little more unlike costume fittings that you've had in other films? Yes. Unbelievable amounts of undergarments. Yeah, yeah, the levels that they would wear. It's ridiculous, really. We think how difficult life was just, you know, daily life was so difficult then. And then to add on top of that, let's wear really tight underwear. <laughs> let's bind our bodies. Let's be as uncomfortable as possible. Just add to the fun. Yeah. So, yeah, there was there are many, many undergarments that you wear. and, and the most extreme thing is being, you know, laced up and pulled in tight and have your waist squeezed in and your breast mm -hmm. up here. And